Hello awesome humans, I'm Natalie and this is a second video in a series that I'm doing about how to avoid burning out. So if you want to see the first one, you can find it on my channel below. Today I want to talk about finding courage to break through the story that might be keeping you burning out, that might be actually keeping you trapped in the cycle of daily burnout. And as always, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I share videos like this weekly. Please like the video, it helps others to find it. And please share in the comments your questions or what resonates, I love reading them. Hello, awesome humans. And it takes courage to say that your brain is not your master. So let's talk about finding courage to break through the story that might actually be causing you to burn out. And you know, I shared uh, in my first video a little bit about my story of burning out, which happened about five years ago, and it was a really, really scary time. And in looking back, my story was that I am always meant to struggle, and I was really attached to the story. You know, I came to the US as a refugee when I was a teenager, which is hard, and so there was a lot of struggle. And I kind of assumed from that point on that doing anything meaningful in life you have to struggle you have to feel pain emotional pain all kinds of pain and that's the way I lived for 20 years and I achieved a lot of success doing that but everything was about struggling and for me to actually begin to live in a different way to not be burning out daily to heal from my burnout I had to break through that story which is really hard so as I'm talking I actually want you to think about what is the story that your brain is telling you about how you are, how you've always been, or how life is, that might actually be causing you anxiety or stress or overwhelm that might be keeping you trapped in the cycle of burning out. And this is hard to do because it's hard to face our stories. Our stories give us familiarity, comfort. It sounds weird that I found comfort in my story of always struggling, but I did. That was my identity. I'm Natalie Kogan. I always work hard. Everything is always hard in my life. I'm always struggling. There was comfort in that. So this is why I talk about finding courage to break through your story because even acknowledging it is difficult. So think about that. What is your brain always telling you? Is it telling you that you always have to say yes to everything? Is it telling you that you are the most dependable person, everyone can depend on you, so you may never say no to someone? Is it telling you that you are not worth a lot unless you're always doing, 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 doing? That was also part of my story. So think about that. What is the story your brain is telling you about yourself that might actually be causing you to overwhelm yourself and to be burning out? Now, acknowledging our stories is step one, and it's difficult to do, but once you've done that, what do you do then, right? Like once I recognized that my brain was really attached to the story that Natalie always struggles, she's always doing stuff that's hard, what do you do? Well, here are two questions that I want to offer you to actually bust through the story. And here they are. The first question to ask yourself, is this story actually true? If I am really honest, if I look back, if I'm really honest, and again, my brain does not want to do this, so this is where your courage comes in. When I look back, is it true that everything in my life came with struggle? No, that isn't true. Yes, there were a lot of challenges. There are always challenges in life. You know, that's kind of, I talk about challenge as a feature of life. It's not a bug, it's a feature. So there were always challenges in my life, but did everything come with struggle? That's not true. There were many opportunities that came my way that were very unexpected and incredibly helpful. And many people in my life who were supporting me, who cared about me, who gave me those opportunities. Not everything came a struggle. And so just even talking about this right now illuminates the fact that the stories your brain might be telling you about how you've always been, how your life is, they may not be true. And one of the things that's really important to help you either heal from burnout or avoid burning out is to edit the stories your brain is telling you to be a really objective editor. So that's the first thing I want you to think about. The story that might be keeping you trapped and always doing, never taking care of yourself, is that story true? The second question I want you to ask is, 
is this story helpful? How is my story that I'm always struggling, things are always difficult, nothing is ever easy, how is that story helpful to me? Like, how does that story help me get more things done, be better as a parent, as a wife, as a daughter, as a friend? How does it help me be a better leader at work? How does it help me be better in any way? How does it help me not feel so overwhelmed and stressed? Well, it doesn't in any way. Being caught in that story for me of always struggling, things are always hard, well, it just reinforced itself. So it didn't help me, it hurt me. It constantly uh, weighed on me, it caused me to never even look for maybe there is an easier way to do something. And so asking that question of how is the story that my brain is telling me about myself helpful is really power. It helps to illuminate ways in which your brain stories might actually be getting in your way of you growing into your fullest expression of yourself, of you struggling a little bit less. So ask yourself those two questions about the stories that your brain is telling you that actually might be contributing to you burning out. Is this story true? You have to be really, really courageously honest because your brain wants to say, yes, yes, it's true. So be really courageously honest. And is the story helpful? So how does buying into that story, how does it help you achieve your goals or be the kind of awesome human that you want to be? Now, this is a process. Just acknowledging your story and asking these two questions, doing that once is not going to um, have tremendous impact, but it is a really powerful step because it's kind of like when you shine a light on something, right? You see it, you can't unsee it. So shining the light of awareness, of truth, of these questions on these stories that your brain might be telling you that are really not helpful is really powerful because once you recognize that maybe the story is not helpful, maybe the story is not entirely true, that gives you an opportunity to shift. That gives you an opportunity to say, you know what, the story is not entirely true, the story is not helpful. How can I shift my thoughts so that they do serve me? So that instead of causing me to struggle and feel stressed and obligated and overcommitting, has it helped me to actually take care of my emotional, mental, and physical energy so that I can sustainably do the work I care about or be here for the people I love. And so it's a really, really powerful step, but it does require your courage. And if your brain right now is going, nah, you don't have the courage to do this, don't buy that story either. It's courage is not something you either have or you don't. We develop courage in the act of doing something that requires courage. It's the same with confidence. It's not like you either have confidence or you don't. The more you do things that require you to develop confidence in doing them, the more you do them, the more you develop it. So you do have the courage to confront your brain stories. You do have it, you just have to practice developing it by taking these steps. And so recognize that um, while a lot of burnout comes from you know doing things on the outside, not taking time to rest, overworking, overcommitting, a lot of the reasons that we burn out on a daily basis or in a long term come from the way that we treat ourselves. They come from the stories our brain tells us. That comes from the they come from the relationship we have with ourselves. And it is really essential to begin to cultivate a more supportive relationship with yourself and to begin to shift your thoughts and the stories your brain tells you into those that are helpful to you, that support you. And asking yourself, what are the stories that my brain is telling me that might be causing me to struggle more? And then asking yourself, is this story true? And is this story helpful are really powerful ways to begin. So I hope this is helpful. Please do this as a practice. Um, you know me, I say this in every video. I hope this is helpful, but it's really helpful only when you actually do it. And I hope uh, you share with me if you've done any of these practices. If you ask yourself these questions, please share in the comments. I'd love to hear. And I will see you next week. I hope you practice being a little bit kinder to yourself for the rest of the week. Take care of